When you hear the word halal, most people think of food, but an international conference on halal in Tehran also covered such issues as halal tourism, halal banking, and halal cosmetics. Halal brand can promote joint trade and investment among Muslim countries, which will lead to the formation of a common Islamic market. With over 1.5 billion Muslims worldwide, halal food producers are making good money. But the share of Muslims in this lucrative market is far from big. Non-Muslim nations basically are leading, uh, taking uh, uh, all the businesses and have become economic power uh, basically uh, at our cost. So this is just the time to realize that one and achieve that goal. But it's not just Muslims who are consuming halal food for being medically safe. European market experts say the halal segment is growing faster than any other part of the food market. Halal brand is so economically attractive that non-Muslim nations are competing to get involved in this trade. And the demand of non-Muslims for halal products is growing. Sales of food that meet Islamic standards are expected to reach $641 billion in 2010, up from $587 billion in 2004. The European halal food market is expected to reach sales of $67 billion in 2010. Halal brand has now become a rival not only for many food industry owners, but also for many medicinal products. An Iranian company has produced a halal version of erythromycin for the first time. In this product, the company has used herbal oil rather than commonly used pork oil. Halal foods are not just sausage or meat. All foods can be halal, from cheese without animal enzymes to biscuits, cookies or coffee, provided that their producers clean their machines with detergents that contain no alcohol. Salman Kujuri, Press TV, Tehran.